Hey guys, this is John from Walkthrough Code. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, push a plain Create React app without doing anything to it uh, to uh, Heroku. It's extremely easy. There's a build pack that was built um, by GitHub user Mars, and it is phenomenal. Um, all you have to do is basically copy and paste a couple of things in the command line, and it's done. Um, so what I'm going to do is First thing, I'm going to acknowledge the fact that I have created a React app already, such as here. It runs fine. Um, we have cd'd into the directory, so here now we are in that directory. The next thing we're going to do is git init, so I'll say git init. Awesome, so that works. Um, now I'm going to copy this in here. And what this is going to do is this is going to go to Heroku and create something. Uh, it's going to create something with app name, and I need to go back and change the app name to whatever app we want. So I'm going to call this app name, um, because I'm sure there's somebody who's come up with some clever name. We'll say uh, the to-do, actually the undone to-dos, because nothing is done to it. Um, okay, and so yeah, so now this is telling it's a build pack, or it's going to go look for a build pack, I should say, and it's going to use this particular build pack. Um, so I'm going to hit enter, and it's going down here. It's creating anything, it's or everything, it's uh, setting the build pack and everything. Um, if you don't have the Heroku CLI, you need to get the Heroku CLI. I'll put a link in the comment, or I'll put in the link in the description. The other thing is you need to... Uh, login, uh, type in the command Heroku login in the directory of your project. Um, that way it'll give you Heroku credit, or it'll let you uh, verify the Heroku credentials. Um, and okay, so we've done that now. And now all we need to do is basically just copy paste this in here. Um, and this should work. So that's a nice thing about the terminal right you copy paste something in there and just runs it for you um, okay so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna get push Heroku master so it's gonna go through and it's going to uh, go kind of through the build process with you um, it's gonna install npm and node and yarn in my case since I have a yarn.log file um, it's gonna install all of the packages it's going to um, go through the whole build process. So, yeah. Let's see how fast we can make this go and then kill a little other time. Um, so, heads up, there is uh, the thing that I used here is in my, um, it's in my GitHub repository um, called React Redux to do starter. Um, Okay, no issues. Cool. Um, and so this is obviously publicly available. I will uh, link this in the description below. This is what I cloned. I literally did nothing to it. Um, I just cloned it and then started doing all this stuff. Um, again, it's kind of going through its whole build process. And it's compressing, launching, and it's done. Awesome. So if we go to this URL, and we could probably do that with Heroku open. Heroku open. And now it's taking us to our website. Cool, we have a little to-do app. Let's say blah and blah description. Blah the description, sure. And there you go, has the title. Um, the description would never work to begin with. I need to fix that, maybe someday. Um, either way, thank you guys so much for watching um, this video, or this build pack is really amazing. I love it. I have my students use it all the time, and it's really easy to use. Um, highly recommended. Um, yeah, anyway, so thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe. The more, the more I get those, obviously, the more content I can create. Um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in subsequent videos. Take care.